can tell you what all the cool kids are doing. All the cool kids drink their beverages mm -hmm. out of hot mm -hmm. dog straws. I'm telling you, every morning, hot dog straw coffee. It's so good, you guys. Oh my God, oh. Lucy. You guys, it's so delicious. You're it's such a liar. I don't believe you. So good, you guys. You're gonna do it again. God, Lucy, I just need so to point out. TikTok, Where it? was this Tom is Brady? next TikTok it's challenge? Crazy. So you, this guy was a professional at this, apparently, because this is not as easy as it looks. You, I used, I did, I did not use a straw to make the straw like this genius did. I used the end of a iced tea stirring spoon, as one does, and you just stick it right through the hot dog, <laughs> and it's a nice little, nice little salty addition to your coffee. Mm -hmm. oh, so I, I need to really also good. point out. Oh my oh, god, you're it's such a so, liar. It's so good. You, I can't stop drinking it. It's just so delicious, you guys. It's really looks amazing. like it. <laughs> just, my this my this stomach is feels so good coffee? right now. This is a McCafe coffee in my my Tiffany cup in a with a hot dog in it. And that's I mean, all I mean, if you're not doing this, what are you even doing? I would say. Because mm, mm. hot dog kind of falls apart as well, but you know what? It's fine. You just hold <laughs> it together. You hold the hot dog together and you just oh, uh, Oh my God, it's delicious. So you're saying it has so hot dog Ugh. pulp in it. It's like got orange juice pulp. has pulp. It, uh, yes, and I can tell you that a, a nice film of oil develops at the top yeah. of the coffee, which just adds so much. Like, you know, the bulletproof coffee with butter? This is even better because it wakes you up. This will wake you up and oh. it will just get your day going. Your stomach feels great as you're going about your day. Um, definitely just really makes you feel like life is incredible like this is just i mean what is not doing this i don't know how <laughs> people, i don't know how people start their day not drinking hot dog coffee and then end it with a hot dog beer at a baseball game these things don't make sense to me you put it in water it just and you get a little bit of protein you get some caffeine you get probably all the vitamins that come in hot dogs i mean of course and you you yes. just you, it's great it's it's an integral part of every morning routine with your intention journaling and your morning yoga and and reflections and gratitude for the day hot dog straw coffee is absolutely part of that for your skincare routine it's good for your hair I mean, I, I this is going to take TikTok by storm. This guy is an absolute genius, and bravo to him because he really showed me the ways of the hot dog straw world. And you make a straw with a straw. I mean, this guy, uh, bravo, a hero, should be president. It's just so delicious, this coffee currently that I'm having. It's so well, good. They should now go to Starbucks. Only Starbucks have just say, okay, I'll have a venti black, a cold brew black with. A uh, hot dog in it just doesn't have to be grilled just microwave it it's just a little char on it wouldn't be so bad but you know about a microwave is fine if you're in a hurry and then you just you just pop a little straw or, or some metal thing right through it and there you go there you go serve it up real nice i mean plastic straws are out if you don't have any metal or or anything else just hot dog i think is sustainable and uh delicious and uh nutritious so there you go. Yeah, what's the Italian word for hot dog? Mm -hmm. That's what you're going to order at Starbucks now. I mean, Lucy, Bellissimo. I... It should be the Bellissimo because this is so good. Mm. Oh. Really good. All right, I'm calling so... it now. Your life is now only going to be measured, you know, before hot dog straws and after hot dogs. Hot dog oh, straws. That is how monumental this has been. Oh. So my next question is, is this part of the TB12 oh. diet? should be it should be because i don't know if they have this in the bahamas where he definitely was <laughs> i i don't know i still don't i mean it's p perfectly possible that tom brady was in the bahamas of course but it's too bizarre for him not to for him to have I, the way that people were talking before this and during his time away devin white was what really convinced me that something is up. So he said that Brady has personal problems, just like personal problems, just like anybody else. And that he were praying for him. Why would you be praying for him and say he has personal problems if he's just in the Bahamas with Giselle and with his family? It doesn't make a ton of sense to me essentially, because why wouldn't, I mean, if it, he said he was not on the mass Singer, that's exactly what someone who is going to be on The Masked Singer would say. But um, that's not very intriguing to me. There's pieces of hot dog in my mouth. Um, but the, oh. so what, <laughs> it's just, it just, it really yeah. just is an all encompassing experience, I would say. Um, but so 
I don't think uh I don't I don't know if Brady was actually in the Bahamas, but it's a plausible story, I guess. But it is bizarre for him to be away and not say exactly why didn't he just say he was going on vacation? Why didn't he say, I'm just going away with my family? Why is it such a big deal? And why say he has personal problems, just like everybody? Why is it problems? So the only reason I can think for that is Giselle said, if we don't take this vacation, we are getting divorced. Something like that, something extreme. Mm. And then we go on vacation. That's the only reason I can think of for him to take this time away because he retired. And then said, okay, but now I'm back to football. I am unretiring back to football. So be back to football. But he wasn't. He just left. Like, of course, he doesn't have to play preseason games because he's Tom Brady. But the optics are so bizarre and so weird that you worry about him. And that's why they cleared up the uh, the family issues. But it's that he doesn't have any, like, any family health scares. But uh, it, it's it's bizarre to me. Lucy, first of all, before mm -hmm. I ask you a question, I think this is yeah. a great time to remind everyone, you can watch us on Twitch. Just go to twitch.tv <laughs> slash BetQL. It's twitch.tv slash BetQL. Please go right now because we're describing it. And as much as, as we try to, to articulate and describe what's happening here, you need to watch Lucy. She has a McCafe coffee from McDonald's and a fresh Frankfurter that has been holed out so she can drink the coffee through yeah. the straw. This is really where we get to the heart of what this show is all about. Lucy, I am personally, I'm a big, I'm a big eating contest person. And I know yes. recently you challenged Jason LaConfora to uh, an eating contest and he chickened out. He's yellow. He did. He's yellow. He did. I am three and oh lifetime in eating contests. So my question to you is as someone who obviously appreciates a good challenge and B clearly will do whatever it takes and you've got the hot dog and the coffee, are you willing to do another challenge? And have you been successful at them before? So I have never actually done one, but I will try it anyone oh. once. I have, I have my, one of my friends did a pumpkin pie eating contest once. And the trick there is you fold the pie in half and then eat it. So there are tricks to eating contests, but mm. this hot dog eating contest is the reason I had just normal reasons why I have hot dogs in my fridge. Jason LaConfora did challenge me to a hot dog eating contest and then did back out. These are facts. This is true. Um, but now I am left with hot dogs and it, it will happen. I will be uh, facing his producer in a hot dog eating contest because uh, he does not want to do it of course because so, jason looking for is a coward that's just a fact that's just a mm. fact of life he's a coward so uh now i get to use them to make my my coffee and i think that's a blessing for all of us um but no i have never uh done a a food eating contest but i would love to try one because i will i will try anything once i will i will do a contest of how many cups of this i can drink that's for sure because it feels well, great clearly it feels, nobody feels great <laughs> Nobody's questioning your commitment except for to your teams because Lucy, you used to be a huge Boston Red Sox promoter on the show. Now you're a Mets promoter as we can see the banner flying in the, the background of your shot right now. So even your adopted team lost last night. Are you hopping yeah. off the Mets bandwagon now that they lost a game to the Yankees? No, no way. No, the Mets have too much promise. They have too much Max Scherzer to not. Max Scherzer is what he is. He did not come through for me on strikeouts last night, which is really all I wanted. But no, that's fine. You know, I, with the Red Sox, there's not much to promote at this point. But with the Mets, there is there's a lot to promote. This team has just a, just a little bit of a skid. Everybody faces a little bit of a skid. The Red Sox are beyond skid at this point. The Mets are not. So I am sticking with the Mets and I am, and the, you watch, I'm still watching every Red Sox game. I must be clear about this. I am still watching mm -hmm. every Red Sox game by the grace of God. They were not playing last night. So I did get to watch the Mets, unfortunately lose, but that's fine. You know what? That's okay. We're, we, it's just one game and there it's going to be fine. Subway series should be the Jersey Mike series in my opinion, because Subway is a Massachusetts <laughs> brand. Jersey Mike's is a, a more tri-state area brand, but that's okay. Um, and I would, uh, I'm absolutely sticking with both teams because you can have an AL and NL team. So the Mets are, uh, are my happiness and the Red Sox are when I want to just seep into sorrow and drink things like this. Because you definitely do this when life is going well. Yes, that's the only time it's it's worth trying a hot dog straw is when you're sort of like, you're peaking right now. You know what I mean? Yeah.
I can see this with beer, actually. Actually, I don't really like beer that much, but the saltiness of this, Ooh. you can really, it really goes, I, you know, that guy is really onto something. Coffee too, water, everything. I think fruit juice would be great. Anything, any beverage, hot dog straw goes with it. It's the, it's the little black dress of, of culinary <sighs> delights is really what hot dog straw is all about. It's a lifestyle. Well, Lucy, now they have to add this to, was it the Yankee Stadium candle? Because weren't you trying all these different scented candles for stadiums that they have trying to like embody the scents? They're going to have yeah. to add hot dog essence to Yankee Stadium candles now. They actually should. They should do that for, they have one for Wrigley Field. They should do that as well. I would not be buying a Yankee Stadium candle, but any other ballpark Dodger <laughs> Stadium candle, they should have a City Field candle, in my opinion, that smells like winning. But a hot dog candle in general, you could mix the waxes together and just melt it all together and coffee and just all the candles together and, you know, throw like a pickle in here too. And, you know, olives are actually not olives. I do not like olives, but uh, I do like this. This is so good. You guys just, <laughs> it's, a, it's a beverage of, of Kings really. It's so good. Yeah. It doesn't look forced at all. You look like no. you're truly enjoying Every day. that hot dog straw, oh. the hot dog pulp that's coming along with the it. The oil that's and... on you. Yeah. You gotta, hold, cause you gotta like hold the straw. So it's, it's all, you know, I have this every day. I just do it before I come on here. And now it's just like, oh, I, I had to just make it, you know, right before I came on. So why not just have it now? I thought. Yeah. Now it's closer. Now people yeah. allow it since I saw somebody do it. That brave pioneer at that Yankee guy, Stadium. My king. All right. <laughs> so our time's coming to a close uh, here in this segment. Great stuff from mm -hmm. Lucy on the Roman guest line. She deserves a medal or yeah. at least another hot dog. Lucy, thanks for joining us. Thank thanks, you. Lucy. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>